CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 41 through 45 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 41. A network architect is designing an environment that must minimize downtime and maintain continuous access to critical systems, even in the event of a failure. Which of the following factors must be considered to support high availability? The answer is A. Ease of recovery. Ease of recovery is a key consideration when designing a high availability network as systems need to quickly return to service after a failure to minimize disruption. High availability focuses on keeping critical services accessible with little to no downtime. Other important factors to consider include availability, resilience, cost, responsiveness, scalability, ease of deployment, risk transference, patch availability, and ability to patch, power, and compute resources. Question 42. A technician discovers that a critical vulnerability affects a server used for customer transactions. A vendor has released a high-priority patch, and the technician is ready to deploy it. To follow standard procedures and avoid unexpected downtime, what should be done first? The answer is C. Submit a change request for review. Before applying a patch to a production system, the technician should submit a change request for review. This ensures that the update goes through the organization's change management process, which helps identify potential risks, plan for downtime, and coordinate with other teams if needed. Even urgent fixes should follow this process to avoid unexpected disruptions and maintain proper documentation and approval. Question 43. After containing and recovering from a security incident, a company's response team begins reviewing how the event occurred and what led to the compromise. Which of the following best describes the purpose of performing this root cause analysis? The answer is B. Prevent recurrence. The goal of root cause analysis is to understand what allowed the incident to happen so that similar events can be prevented in the future. It goes beyond surface symptoms to identify the underlying issue, such as a misconfiguration, policy gap, or unpatched vulnerability. This helps strengthen defenses and improves the overall effectiveness of the incident response process. Question 44. A large bank conducts an internal assessment and discovers that it is not meeting key PCI DSS compliance requirements for handling payment card data. Which of the following is the most likely outcome of this failed assessment? The answer is B. Audit findings. Since the PCI DSS assessment was internal, the most likely outcome of noncompliance is a set of audit findings. These findings document the specific areas where the organization falls short of compliance and must take corrective action. Internal assessments are proactive tools used to uncover and resolve issues before they lead to external penalties or regulatory consequences. Identifying gaps early helps the organization stay ahead of enforcement and maintain a strong security posture. Question 45. A company is developing its business continuity strategy and is evaluating how many employees would be needed to maintain operations during a disruption. Which of the following best describes this type of planning? The answer is A. Capacity. Capacity planning involves identifying the minimum number of resources required to maintain business operations during a disruption. This includes evaluating the number of staff members needed, along with the supporting technology and infrastructure. By understanding these requirements in advance, the organization can build a strategy that ensures continuity even when operating under reduced conditions. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, 
Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.